Can you tell us how you started this? How did you get the idea? What were the first steps in, in your journey on that? Yeah, um, so I've been swimming my whole life. I grew up in Lebanon on the Mediterranean where swimming is a core part of our day to day. And when I was in engineering school as part of my varsity team, I started realizing that our coach was giving us our workout based on effort zones or heart rate zones. And then we were measuring our heart rate manually by counting the pulse after the set. And I kind of found that, uh, you know, it's a little silly to do that because knowing your heart rate after you've finished swimming while you're recovering, first of all, is inaccurate, but also it's kind of useless because the only thing you can do about it is say, oh, I should have swam harder or I could have swam harder. So that's when I felt for the first time the need of having my heart rate in real time. So I started asking around and I looked for, um, you know, available solutions and I couldn't find anything. And at the same time, I saw an ad for this competition uh, that our dean has had sent saying that if you have a product idea or submit your final year project to this competition. Um, and so that's exactly what I did. I submitted the idea for a heartbreak monitor for swimming. And I, you know, after the few rounds of interview, I got myself into that competition without really knowing that it was a TV, reality TV show, where you'd have to go for four months to Doha and they would give you the right support and infrastructure to build the first prototype. Um, so that's what I did. I just, during my last semester, I found, a, I found a way to convince professors to let me follow my classes online because one of my parents' hard requirement was you cannot graduate late. And so I kind of went through 100 petitions to get that done. And then I flew to Doha. And over there, for 10 hours a day, I was locked in a lab with 16 other candidates from the Arab world, working on my prototype, and then at night studying for my schoolwork. Um, I ended up winning the third prize of that competition. And I had a functioning, very big, bulky prototype that proved that heart rate could be measured from the side of the temple. 